Section 15 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Dennis Sayers. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Cabal to caricature. Cabal. Synonyms. Combination. Conclave. Confederacy. Conspiracy. Crew. Faction. Gang. Junto. A conspiracy is a combination of persons for an evil purpose, or the act of so combining. Conspiracy is a distinct crime under common, and generally under statutory law. A faction is more extensive than a conspiracy, less formal in organization, less definite in plan. Faction and its adjective, factious, have always an unfavorable sense. Cabal commonly denotes a conspiracy of leaders. A gang is a company of workmen, all doing the same work under one leader. The word is used figuratively only of combinations which it is meant to stigmatize as rude and mercenary. Crew is used in a closely similar sense. A conclave is secret, but of larger numbers, ordinarily, than a cabal, and may have honorable use, as the conclave of cardinals. Calculate. Synonyms. Account. Cast. Compute. Consider. Count. Deem enumerate, estimate, number, rate, reckon, sum up. Number is the generic term. To count is to number one by one. To calculate is to use more complicated processes as multiplication, division, etc., more rapid but not less exact. Compute allows more of the element of probability, which is still more strongly expressed by estimate. We compute the slain in a great war from the number known to have fallen in certain great battles. Compute refers to the present or the past. Estimate more frequently to the future, as to estimate the cost of a proposed building. To enumerate is to mention item by item, as to enumerate one's grievances. To rate is to estimate by comparison, as if the object were one of a series. We count upon a desired future. We do not count upon the undesired. As applied to the present, we reckon or count a thing precious or worthless. Compare esteem. Prepositions. It is vain to calculate on or upon an uncertain result. Call. Verb. Synonyms. Ball. Bellow. Clamor. Cry out. Ejaculate. Exclaim. Roar. Scream. Shout, shriek, vociferate, yell. To call is to send out the voice in order to attract another's attention, either by word or by inarticulate utterance. Animals call their mates or their young. A man calls his dog, his horse, etc. The sense is extended to include summons by bell or any signal. To shout is to call or exclaim with the fullest volume of sustained voice. To scream is to utter a shriller cry. To shriek or to yell refers to that which is louder and wilder still. We shout words. In screaming, shrieking, or yelling, there is often no attempt at articulation. To bawl is to utter senseless, noisy cries, as of a child in pain or anger. 
bellow and roar are applied to the utterances of animals and only contemptuously to those of persons to clamour is to utter with noisy iteration it applies also to the confused cries of a multitude to vociferate is commonly applied to loud and excited speech where there is little besides the exertion of voice in exclaiming the utterance may not be strikingly though somewhat above the ordinary tone and pitch we may exclaim by mere interjections or by connected words but always by some articulate utterance to ejaculate is to throw out brief disconnected but coherent utterances of joy regret and especially of appeal petition prayer the use of such devotional utterances has received the special name of ejaculatory prayer to cry out is to give forth a louder and more excited utterance than in exclaiming or calling one often exclaims with sudden joy as well as sorrow if he cries out it is oftener in grief or agony in the most common colloquial usage to cry is to express grief or pain by weeping or sobbing one may exclaim cry out or ejaculate with no thought of others presence when he calls it is to attract another's attention antonyms be silent be still hark hearken hush list listen calm synonyms collected composed cool dispassionate imperturbable peaceful placid quiet sedate self-possessed serene smooth still tranquil undisturbed unruffled that is calm which is free from disturbance or agitation in the physical sense free from violent motion or action in the mental or spiritual realm free from excited or disturbing emotion or passion we speak of a calm sea a placid lake a serene sky a still night a quiet day a quiet home we speak also of still waters smooth sailing which are different modes of expressing freedom from manifest agitation of mental conditions one is calm who triumphs over a tendency to excitement cool if he scarcely feels the tendency one may be calm by the very reaction from excitement or by the oppression of overpowering emotion as we speak of the calmness of despair one is composed who has subdued excited feeling he is collected when he has every thought feeling or perception awake and at command tranquil refers to a present state placid to a prevailing tendency we speak of a tranquil mind a placid disposition the serene spirit dwells as if in the clear upper air above all storm and shadow the star of the unconquered will he rises in my breast serene and resolute and still and calm and self-possessed longfellow light of stars stanza seven antonyms agitated boisterous disturbed excited fierce frantic frenzied furious heated passionate raging roused ruffled stormy turbulent violent wild wrathful cancel synonyms abolish 
abrogate, annul, blot out, cross off, or out, discharge, efface, erase, expunge, make void, nullify, obliterate, quash, remove, repeal, resend, revoke, rub off, or out, scratch out, vacate, cancel, efface, erase, expunge, and obliterate, have as their first meaning the removal of written characters or other forms of record. To cancel is literally to make a lattice by cross lines, exactly our English cross out. To efface is to rub off, smooth away the face as of an inscription. To erase is to scratch out, commonly for the purpose of writing something else in the same place. To expunge is to punch out with some sharp instrument, so as to show that the words are no longer part of the writing. To obliterate is to cover over or remove as a letter, as was done by the Roman stylus. And rubbing out with the rounded end, what had been written with the point on the waxen tablet. What has been cancelled, erased, expunged, may perhaps still be traced. What is obliterated is gone forever, as if it had never been. In many establishments, when a debt is discharged by payment, the record is cancelled. The figurative use of the words keeps close to the primary sense. Compare abolish. Antonyms. Approve. Confirm. Enact. Enforce. Establish. Maintain. Perpetuate. Record. Reenact. Sustain. Uphold. Write. Candid. Synonyms. Above board. Artless. Fair, frank, guileless, honest, impartial, ingenuous, innocent, naive, open, simple, sincere, straightforward, transparent, truthful, unbiased, unprejudiced, unreserved, unsophisticated. A candid statement is meant to be true to the real facts and just to all parties. A fair statement is really so. Fair is applied to the conduct. Candid is not. As fair treatment, quote, a fair field and no favor, close quote. One who is frank has a fearless and unconstrained truthfulness honest and ingenuous, unite in expressing contempt for deceit. On the other hand, artless, guileless, naive, simple, and unsophisticated, express the goodness which comes from the want of the knowledge or thought of evil. As truth is not always agreeable or timely, candid and frank have often an objectionable sense. Quote, to be candid with you, close quote, quote, to be perfectly frank, close quote, are regarded as sure preludes to something disagreeable. Open and unreserved may imply unstudied truthfulness or defiant recklessness, as open admiration, open robbery, there may be transparent integrity or transparent fraud. Sincere applies to the feelings, as being all that one's words would imply. Antonyms Adroit, artful, crafty, cunning, deceitful, designing, diplomatic, foxy, insincere, intriguing, Knowing, maneuvering, 
sharp, shrewd, sly, subtle, tricky, wily. Prepositions. Candid in debate. Candid to or toward opponents. Candid with friend or foe. To be candid about or in regard to the matter. Comparison. Synonyms. Accoutrement. Harness. Housings. Trappings. Harness was formerly used of the armor of a knight as well as of a horse. It is now used almost exclusively of the straps and appurtenances worn by a horse when attached to a vehicle. The animal is said to be, quote, kind in harness, close quote. The other words apply to the ornamental outfit of a horse, especially under saddle. We speak also of the accoutrements of a soldier. Comparison is used rarely and somewhat slightingly, and trappings quite contemptuously for showy human apparel. Compare arms. Dress. Capital. Synonyms. Chief city. Metropolis. Seat of Government. The metropolis is the chief city in the commercial, the capital in the political sense. The capital of an American state is rarely its metropolis. Care. Synonyms. Anxiety. Attention. Caution. Charge. Circumspection. Concern. Direction, forethought, heed, management, oversight, perplexity, precaution, prudence, solicitude, trouble, vigilance, wariness, watchfulness, worry. Care concerns what we possess, anxiety, often what we do not. Riches bring many cares. Poverty brings many anxieties. Care also signifies watchful attention, in view of possible harm, as, quote, this side up with care, close quote. Quote, take care of yourself, close quote. Or, as a sharp warning, quote, take care, close quote. Caution has a sense of possible harm and risk only to the escaped, if at all, by careful deliberation and observation. Care inclines to the positive, caution to the negative. Care is shown in doing, caution largely in not doing. Precaution is allied with care, prudence with caution. A man rides a dangerous horse with care. Caution will keep him from mounting the horse. Precaution looks to the saddle girths, bit and bridle, and all that may make the rider secure. Circumspection is watchful observation and calculation, but without the timidity implied in caution. Concern denotes a serious interest, milder than anxiety, as concern for the safety of a ship at sea. Heed implies attention without disquiet. It is now largely displaced by attention and care. Solicitude involves especially the element of desire, not expressed in anxiety, and of hopefulness, not implied in care. A parent feels constant solicitude for his children's welfare, anxiety as to dangers that threaten it, with care to guard against them. Watchfulness recognizes the possibility of danger, wariness the probability. A man who is not influenced by caution to keep out of danger may display great wariness in the midst of it. K 
care has also the sense of responsibility with possible control as expressed in charge and management oversight as these children are under my care send the money to me in care of the firm compare alarm anxiety prudence antonyms carelessness disregard heedlessness inattention indifference neglect negligence omission oversight recklessness remissness slight prepositions take care of the house for the future about the matter career synonyms charge course flight line of achievement passage public life race rush a career was originally the ground for a race or especially for a knight's charge in tournament or battle whence career was early applied to the charge itself if you will use the lance take ground for your career the four horsemen met in full career scott quentin durward chapter fourteen page one ninety four d f and company in its figurative use career signifies some continuous and conspicuous work usually a life work and most frequently one of honorable achievement compare business caress synonyms coddle court embrace flatter fondle kiss pamper pet to caress is less than to embrace more dignified and less familiar than to fondle a visitor caresses a friend's child a mother fondles her babe fondling is always by touch caressing may be also by words or other tender and pleasing attentions antonyms see synonyms for affront prepositions caressed by or with the hand caressed by admirers at court caricature synonyms burlesque exaggeration extravaganza imitation mimicry parody take off travesty a caricature is a grotesque exaggeration of striking features or peculiarities generally of a person a burlesque treats any subject in an absurd or incongruous manner a burlesque is written or acted a caricature is more commonly in sketch or picture a parody changes the subject but keeps the style a travesty keeps the subject but changes the style a burlesque does not hold itself to either subject or style but is content with a general resemblance to what it may imitate a caricature parody or travesty must have an original a burlesque may be an independent composition an account of a schoolboy's quarrel after the general manner of homer's iliad would be a burlesque the real story of the iliad told in newspaper style would be a travesty an extravaganza is a fantastic composition musical dramatic or narrative imitation is serious mimicry is either intentional or unintentionally comical end of section fifteen cabal to caricature read by dennis sayers in modesto california for librivox